not from Long Island Church and not from New York but look at this day from up a bit the word episcopus which we use for our bishops and our overseers epi means from up and scope is down so we want God today to give us this episcope on the cross what happened on that cross and why the whole earth on that day was shaking why was darkness from 12 up to 3 o'clock all over the world why everything is like troubled why later on we will see those who were in the graves arise and enter Jerusalem what happened let me start by three main things the first thing is there was a flood a flood not only for signals of love but for actual love since Adam fallen sin and we by nature fall I want to correct something here that we didn't inherit sins from Adam we inherit a nature that cannot please God and this nature we inherit willingly still God from up sees every one of us and give him the choice will you allow me in your life or not will you take me seriously or not and I want us to hear the same voice again in our hearts from all the trees you eat except one tree and still Adam is choosing the other tree and still me I don't know about you using the wrong choice by putting my life out of God I'm not saying about coming to church no about giving God two hours of the liturgy no about I'm trying to be good no it's more than this it's about live with him or die without him he told them in the book of Deuteronomy listen I have given you today a choice death or life choose life so you may live Habibi God doesn't want us to have a choice of being good I'm a good person that's a very little choice but God meant something bigger than being good you are alive or you are what? dead and death come from separation from life I read something long time ago what is the easiest thing that you may do and you're gonna die equal do nothing stop eating stop drinking stop moving you will die and this is exactly what happened when we separate ourselves from God and we remain looking active looking alive but to him from up he sees me and you what? It's not about changing situation. It's not about getting out you of the trap that you put yourself in. It's not about giving you a future life, a future husband, a future wife, a good house, a good lecture life. That's all in him. At the time will go. All what you can see here, 
the big towers in Manhattan, the big towers everywhere, all this at a certain point will vanish. And one thing will remain, you and him. So on that day, God sees from above, he sees whom he made by his hand, mocking him, spitting on him, rejecting him. And I'm wondering how many of you are making the same mistake by reading and listening to all these words and blaming the Jews and the Romans and Pilate and Judas and ex exclude themselves from the equation. We just sang the song, Oh Beloved. And I, I hope you focus when he said, every time I do sin, I'm nailing you again. The cross wasn't 2,015 years ago. The cross is still valid. The cross is still valid. And the cross still rejecting. And still those who claim to know him, rejecting him. The scribes and the Pharisees, from the book, books that they have, they know that this is the Messiah. By time, if you focus on the readings yesterday, the high priest, listen carefully, the high priest told the Sanhedrin, the synagogue, that this man is the Messiah. We know that he is supposed to come to save us. He declared it. But he declared Christ from his tongue and his heart was after his position and after his authority. Who is doing the same like this high priest? I read the Bible. I see Christ clearly. But I see myself telling him, you, are, you cannot exceed this page. Close the Bible, let my life go and crucify you again. We're not so far, by the way. Today, Pilate's wife, someone who is out of the family of God, she told Pilate, don't do bad to this guy. I had a dream about him. You see, love reaches where everyone. So God loved the world. So he came to this woman according to her ability in a dream. Did, come, did God send you something once through a dream? Did God reaches you in that level one day? And if he reaches you, did you take him or you crucify him? Did you accept this invitation or you said, no, it is not me? Even Pilate himself, he washed his hands and said, this man is, huh? is what? Innocent. I checked everything from head to toe. His actions, his works, his words. This guy is innocent. And I'm asking you guys, what Christ has done wrong for you? That we reject him in such a way. What Christ has done for you? What he did exactly? Four days ago, I found the YouTube kid, a family went to a doctor and sit at the bench outside. And when they entered to sit on the bench, they found a very humble man. He wasn't wearing fancy clothes like us. He wasn't putting expensive per perfumes. He was not wearing something like excellent. And he was a very humble, silent man. You know what they did? They look at him like this, and they just keep a distance from this guy. And every two seconds, the father looked at him and said, 
kids come this side. After five minutes, the doctor called them. So they entered the room. Surprisingly, the man was following them. And they sat on the bench, on the, on the seats, and the man was still standing. A doctor told him, let me introduce, and he told him his name. He is the one who's gonna give you his bone marrow to your little daughter. How often we mock Christ in such a way. How often he come closer to you saying, I want to save you. Let me clean your dirt. Let me give you the new life. Let me start a new page with you. And us in our I don't know what to call it. We say what? No, it won't work. So the signal of love reached the first of Christ. Signal of love reached Pilate and his wife. It also reaches the disciples. But they were afraid. They couldn't imagine the king will be on the cross. Later on, a signal of love again accompany them. And this is a hope for me and for you. If even denying him, like Peter, his hands are still what? Open. You know, denying Christ doesn't mean that you say, I'm not Christian, by the way, just to correct you guys. Denying Christ doesn't mean that you convert to another religion. No. There are some Christians are denying Christ because they don't want to carry the cross and follow after him, after Christ. They're still living in their comfort zone. And Christ's zone is not comfort. It's discomfort, the old man, whom me and you nourishes for a good time. One day, three months ago, Someone came and sat with me in a conference and told me, Abuna, I'm a beast. I'm not a human. I'm a big beast. My words are harsh. The way I look to others is harsh. My heart is very hardened. I'm cursing. I'm putting people off. I want to be number one always. Christ is not in me. I told him, if you say so, and you admit your sins, he is for you. Why I'm saying this? Because today on the cross, the right thief, you know, the hardest person to give is the thief. You know that? He cannot give. He like also what, huh? snatch and take and compile so thieves are very selfish they want everything what for them i want my parents to serve me i want my friends to say good things about me i need my husband always to praise me you are god by yourself today the right thief saw the king crucified down to earth. And he said, remember me, O Lord, when you come into your kingdom. He grabbed the chance. The other thief was cursing. Cursing. And the other one said, this man is my savior. From up, God is looking again. Who's going to accept him? and accept his kingdom, and who will remain what? Rejecting him. Valid till now? Yes. Valid till now? Yes. So from up again, let us look from up. God is seeing each one in the church today. Those who are sleeping, and those who are here only to sing, 
and complete the ritual things and that's it. And those who are really thinking that by their matanias and their, they're gonna gain something out of him, you will not gain anything if you don't meet him in person. You might read about him, but you will not meet him till you, till you accept him in your heart and be your king forever. Habaybi, we are in a very critical time on the, of this creation, by the way. And don't think because we are living in New York or in America that we are safe. The flood of the world is coming. It's going. The flood of sin is coming. And it's going on. Who gonna stand against the flood of sin? The cross. And those who are in the cross. I wish you think from above again. Think from up. Don't see it from Long Island, see it from up. Surprisingly, you'll see the Savior is for you the humble savior. And I hope the signal has reached you. I hope and I pray the signal of love touches our hearts. What is the result? Download. Download and apply. Download the app of humility. Download the app of forgiveness. Download at least the app of kindness. Be kind a bit. Download the app, the app of giving others more, giving yourself. Why am I so selfish like this? A week ago I had a meeting with the couples and they were fighting, they just married. Fighting, fighting, fighting. My then the husband came to the end. Abuna, I've done something. Just again, it's my will, and it works. <laughs> Tell him what happened. He said, I was just speaking about love, 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 love. But actions, I was nil. Something very small. I just tried to take the shoes of my wife, put it in the right place, help her in the kitchen, ask more about her, more than about myself, and it works. It works. May God bless you, Habaibi. I hope and I pray that the church, as it grows in number, grows also in quality. And as we, as we grow in number, especially our youth, we will grow also spiritually. And put on the cross everything you cannot do, he will do it. Put on the cross all your hope, he will do it. Put on the cross all your wishes for you and for those who are around you, he will do it. Glory be to God forever and ever. Amen.